Odizoka low cost Lopanta crisis by sitting area to Fulani tourist. IPOB, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has accused the Senate Chief Whip Ojiz Okalu of creating the current insecurity crisis in Lopanta area of Abia State. IPOB alleged that Carlo ceded Lopanta to Fulani tourists when he was the governor of Abia State due to his presidential ambition. Ima Pafo, the spokesman of IPOB, said Carlo ceded the area to Fulani tourists under the guise of Ruga program. The statement by Pafu, however, said IPOB would recover Lopanta from those Carlos from those Carlos said at the area too soon. According to Pafu, we the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, ably led by the defectable debris of Mazi and Namdi Okuchukukano, wish to tell the Igbos that Ojo Zokalo created a current insecurity crisis along Lopanta during his term and government in Abia State. Kalo, out of desperation to become president of Nigeria, allocated Lopanta to Fulani terrorists masquerading as hatsmen for Ruga. In the end, Fulani deceived him, took over the area, and refused to give him the presidential ticket. Instead of the presidential ticket, they rewarded him with imprisonment. The freedom from prison to continue working for the Fulanization agenda in Abia State. Today, Oje Zokalo was flippantly talking to the public with different stories about Lopanta. Oje Zokalo ridiculed himself by saying he gave Lopanta to Fulanis for revenue generation. Abia should ask him to show how to show them how much revenue Abia State had generated from Lopanta. This gullible man forgot that Fulanis do not coexist with other ethnic groups. Conquest, rule, and enslavement are in their DNA. Today, Lopanta is a security risk not only to Abians but to anyone plying that route where many are falling victim to Fulani kidnapping and killing. Powerful said the former governor has no right to cede Lopanta to Fulani terrorists. Lopanta is Abia state land and Oji Zokalo has no right to mortgage the Abian safety for his personal political interest. Therefore, uh, the indigenous people of Biafra has the responsibility to recover the land from where the Fulani terrorists are launching attacks on our people. Carlo can rant as much as he wants, but he will just remain silent. Resilient to pushing the terrorists out of Lopanta because the rate of killing and kidnapping happening along that area is so alarming to the point our people are no longer traveling on that road. Carlo should stop deceiving the public and tell them the reason he gifted an Abia state land to Fulani Furuga without their consent, he added. Wow. So, Oji Zakalu, I'm asking myself, Ruga, Ruga, when? Ruga, when did this Ruga talk start? This Ruga talk started, I mean, was it rampant during Oji Zakalu's time? There's so much to this news. There is Igbo quarters in Bauchi states and other, some other northern states where he was allowed to bring some of the businesses not related by Islam, such as beer palo, brothel, gambling. Lagos they said allowed to Igbo to do their business. There is nothing wrong in giving land to cattle owners, to cattle dealers rather, to do their business. A more powerful and his criminal gang should not start a fight. They cannot march. The people should stop stalking trouble for innocent people. Nobody should start a fight that he cannot finish. I've said it before that whatever decision that the indigenous people of Biafra takes, they should make sure that this discussion, they should make sure that this particular discussion now, that before they make that decision, they should make sure it is for the people. They should make sure that there is nothing like coming back and it's going to not become in a calamity to the people. I've said my own. Do the Igbos kill the benefactors over there? Try to make a just comparison. You do not associate with one who can easily take your life. The Igbos over there live peacefully with their hosts while tribes transacting their various businesses. Or am I wrong? Bias analysis. We are talking about killings and kidnappings perpetrated by those who are supposed to be genuine businessmen. The Igbos kill and kidnap their hosts as Oje Zokado must surely pay for this. Well, as I said before, as I've said before, eh? as I've said before, they should take any decision they would take. They should make sure any decision they take eh? does not affect the people. Okay, um, 
Criminal elements are everywhere, even among evil businessmen in the North and West. There's that some criminal activities are allegedly linked to some felonies is not enough reason to conclude that every cattle dealer in Lepant is a criminal when it is on record that the cattle market has existed for years without any issues until the indigenous people of Biafra started the execution of propaganda against the friendly herdsmen. It is not up to a prescribed organization like IPOB to decide who still lives in Ibo land when a lot of criminal activities have been linked to them. You do not have... You do not have you do not solve okay, you do not solve a problem with another problem. It is obvious this IPOB and that is always taking the light and creating problems for the evils. If it is not their useless it at home, it will be senseless attack on security formations or destruction of poverty of government properties or attack on someone's sit at home default on some sit at home defaulters. All right. Um, Evans and his gang of kidnappers operated in Lagos even when he presented himself as a genuine businessman and OPC did not threaten to chase Ibo out. Hmm. We're talking about killings and kidnappings perpetrated by people who are not supposed to be genuine businessmen. The Ibos kill and kidnap their host, or Jizokal, who must surely pay for this. Wahala, don't they? Don't even talk about Benefecto. You must say neighbors or host because Ibos legitimately require all the property they own outside Ibo land to be paying for them, and they cohabit in the same area with other tribes, but Fulanis will always live alone so as to be able to plot their evil activities, and they don't... All right. And they don't pay anything, yet they will still want to dominate the lands of others. Ibos don't kill the landlords, the owners of the land, like the Fulani people are doing in Abia. Killing, maiming, and raping. Enough is enough. Oji Zakalu, it shall not be well with you. People are now angry. Okay, have the Ibos caused havoc there or kidnapped people for ransom? But if I may ask you, Fulani have bought you as a land, right? Be informed that the truth is very bitter. Secondly, there is no war to do that the Biafrans cannot win against Nigeria. All right. Okay, win against Nigeria. 1967 is not 2022. Me, let me repeat what I said before. My own is that you see all this stunning. You see all this, you know. All right. Well, at the end of the day, you see this issue of accuse, accuse. My own is let them make their findings well so that tomorrow they don't come up with something else. And whatever decision they want to make, they should make sure that decision is going to. That decision is going to make Nigeria. As in, I said make Nigeria. Their people are not going to be coming out to be saying, ah, you know. Okay. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time.